Hello, this is Techman88, and today I'd like to show you a nether ceiling tree farm. Uh, there's a couple challenges in doing this. One is that you have to arrange the blocks flat on the floor. And, uh, well, that, that is the main challenge, and that's what I figured out. And it's using a series of piston arrangers. Uh, just a couple. And that gets it into this, this flat arrangement on the ground that the that the wither can blow up. And then in addition to that, I had to figure out a way to get the items into a chest or something. And this works by, as soon as the, the blocks get exploded, it pushes the items in from the side using these pistons. And then they get forced over next to this rail and then the hopper mine cart can pick it up and deposit that in the chest. So the reason you might want to use a tree farm like this is, like, for some reason you might want to wither based tree farm because then you don't have to deal with any TNT or anything like that. And overall this is quite a bit simpler, I think. So the reason you would do this, as opposed to use, like, the end, the bedrock at the end formation, is because there's a ton of spots that you can use. I just went around for about 10 minutes and filled in the, um, the possible areas with these diamond blocks. So yeah, you don't have to travel more than probably 20 or 30 blocks before you find an acceptable formation. So to find one of these places where you can summon the wither, uh, you want to find this 3x3 three three area at the second, uh, second from bottom bedrock layer. Now I made a, a much longer video about summoning the, weather, uh, the wither in this, this particular type of spot. Uh, but basically you want to come into a creative world and you want to clear out all the blocks, all the nether rack, so then you can really easily just look up and find these areas. I'm not going to do it now because that might get boring. Uh, actually, I did find one right here. Um, so it has to be this 3x3 three three area because of the way the, the uh, wither checks whether it can summon properly. So yeah, it has to be like that. That would be acceptable. Um, but I have one already partially set up here. So what you do is you get a piston down here, a fence post, put that on top of that. Then you want to summon the wither right here. And before you actually summon it, you want to come up onto the nether ceiling and place an obsidian block, one block above like that. So now it's kind of like this. And at this point, you want to have a redstone block ready. So I'll summon it now, and then push it up. Then I'll go on top. And there you see there you see it. And this explosion will destroy blocks, just so you know. So make sure to summon the wither before you actually start building the tree farm, which might count, sound kind of weird, but uh, but that's the proper way to do it. All right, so if you're running this in creative, this is how you would kill the wither that you don't want without killing all the rest of them because it's really a pain to resummon the wither even with commands I don't have a really good way to do that reliable way overall the farm is rather simple it's just a miniature tree farm just a really simple tree farm this is just for oak and uh, this is the entire footprint there's nothing underneath it except for a bit of this wither down here and there's no reason you couldn't use another tree farm the reason I came up with this is I wanted one that's as low as possible. You do need a, a dirt block over the nether. You might be able to avoid that just by uh, if you actually want to break some bedrock. But part of the point of this, and the good thing about it, is you don't have to break any bedrock. Now there are of course a million tree farm designs out there. But this one is fairly simple just for a 4 high piston pusher, double piston extender for logs. And the way this works is it the first thing it does is it sees this redstone signal. The observer reads that when it turns on. Then it pushes the slime forward, which moves all the pistons. And that's going to trigger the observer to uh, to signal again and push the push the logs all the way forward. Then next thing is this turns off and then this pulls back. And uh, then it triggers again when the observers move. So yeah, just the combination of 
slimes and observers makes this easy, but this is limited to a four high uh, formation, which will yield about one to one log per bone meal. Now this is a fully functional tree farm using that same basic piston pusher. And that basically, if you do a tree farm design, you're probably going to start with a double piston extender because that's probably the hardest thing to trigger. And then I just have a very basic leaf crusher up here. And it, it probably looks kind of ghetto, it's not even even, but this is kind of a proof of concept. Showed that you can actually build a tree farm up here. And the on-off switch is back here. You can just barely get to it. But yeah, this actually does yield enough saplings back. But it only will do oak. I mean, I guess it might be able to do birch, but I don't think birch yields enough saplings with this formation. So this tree farm is going to put out a four high, uh, four high column of logs, and that's going to be one level up from the, the bedrock. So the first thing it does is it pushes it down and then pushes the bottom block over. And that just gets, uh, gets our all four on the ground. Then the next thing that happens, it's uh, going to trigger a little sequence of piston pushes. So the first time it pushes all three pistons at once. And then the second time it'll just push the top one. So bottom three first, it's almost too fast to see. But uh, pushes the bottom three, then it pushes the log down, and then it pushes all three again or just the top piston again. And you can see it come into this little machine here. And this machine is necessary because you have to push in the logs before the uh, before the wither explodes because you got like a half second or a second between when it gets damaged and when it does the block bre breaking ability. And this is uh, something I don't see a whole lot, but it's pretty useful, just a almost like a flying machine, uses the observer pusher thing and the observer is triggered by this fence post. So yeah, this observer triggers both these pistons. And then there's this second thing down here which pushes the blocks over. And that's also very simple. Just an observer and a couple redstone pistons too. So I also came up with a version that works for six high trees, which would be birch. This will work well with birch. And you can you can actually see the what's going on a little simpler here. So it pushes in the six high column, and then it pushes out the bottom three. Then it again pushes the uh, the top three down, and pushes the pistons out a second time. So that takes the it's like a log chopper. It takes the six high thing and chops it down into two three high things, and that can be handled by this exact same. Uh, this block, block pusher, the final block pusher. And it's quite a lot bit more redstone. I used kind of the same double piston pusher design, but I had to add in a whole lot more redstone because I got over the push limit and there's no way around that at all. So this this is going to be laggier for a server and maybe there, there's probably a much better tree farm design than this. I just wanted to get something working. So this works with oak logs as well, but if you're going to switch from birch logs, like the birch log, uh, the blocker thing has to be up here. Uh, so switching to oak, you have to put it down there or you're going to get the, the large oak trees with a lot of branches and that will break your system. So yeah, then, uh, then you can switch to oak logs and you can see them come through. And this actually uh, helps visualize the pattern a little bit. Now I'm not going to make a tutorial, but I will provide a world download which has these four uh, little demonstrations in it. And uh, when you start out this world, I'll just kill myself. Uh, you'll start in the overworld and you'll just have to take a nether portal to the end, or to the nether. So you'll come out here. I just stuck that on top of there so you could get straight to the ceiling. 
and yeah, these are the four ones. This is the demo of the the new type of tree farm basis that I start. Then the this is the four high version, and this is labeled. Uh, this is just my testing rig for a six high version, and you can turn that on by flipping that lever. And that's just doing uh, fill commands to to send the blocks through. And then the last one is the six high tree farm version. So on these tree farms, it is very important to get all the timings right. Um, there's a one repeater down here, for instance. This will control the speed at which it uh, pushes out logs. So you set it longer, it'll have more delay between the logs that it pushes out because you can't push too fast or some of these systems will fail. And uh, yeah, the signal comes back here. That's another important one to get right. Uh, they're all important. Um, then it, it uh, triggers the leaf crushers with this and there's a lot more, a couple more timings over here. And you can't, you probably can't replace this with uh, like a three tick repeater, you probably need it set up like this so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't lengthen the signal. And then like this contraption right here produces a six redstone tick pulse. And over here, uh, this is also important to get that right. So yeah, uh, just use schematica or whatever you want to do or just manually check whether the timings are all, all right. So I think I covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. I've got ba uh, this 4 high version, and then I've got a 6 high version over there. And there might be other tree farms that you can hook up into this, as long as you can regulate the log output speed. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of more expert tree farm guys that probably could easily come up with a design that, that fits this configuration. And if you do make a tree farm that's better than this or simpler or something like that, that works on another ceiling, uh, please just leave a comment about that. I know my Zuma Games has been working on one recently for Withers, but I felt my Zuma Games version was a bit more complicated. And it also requires using the bedrock formation in the end, which I didn't really want to spend on one of these tree farms because you only have one of those in 1.13. So the nether ceiling is uh, is plentiful locations that you can put it in, and uh, it's it's reasonably simple to do this on the nether ceiling as long as you've got this kind of uh, this kind of arranger set up, and it should be easy to come up with a better concept than this, maybe faster. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful or entertaining or whatever. I I propose the challenge to make the wither nether ceiling tree farm, and I only figured it out just recently because I got inspired to work on it again. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.